seconds in and just jump scare. Oh, super freak media. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Ooh. Is that real or fake? That, that, that's real. That's a real snake. Please let me know if that's fake or real. Nice editing. Edgar Wright vibes right there. I like it. Shot too. GoPro maybe? Now this has to be a drone shot, right? Dang 
danger, deep water, no swimming. What do you want? Nothing about this situation is okay. What could you possibly say to explain what you did? You were fucking my sister. No, 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 Michael, no. <laughs> love. <laughs> you stopped loving me a long time ago and you know it. Oh. Just took for this to happen for me to finally catch up. Goodbye, Michael. Yeah, goodbye, Michael.
was intense. The lady. I always love to watch the end credits just to see who's involved. So that was the short horror film, The River from Super Freak Media. Wow, that was really different than what they usually put out on their YouTube channel with short horror films. And they do come out with a short horror film every year around Halloween time or every October. Uh, sometimes that does change. And this was very different. Not much jump scares as they usually put into their short horror films. Uh, I feel like there was maybe two or three. Uh, the most I've seen maybe was more than six jump scares or so in one of their short horror films, but this was different. It's always difficult to shoot a horror film, a short horror film, or any kind of film for that matter on water, whether it be any kind of genre at all. And they did a really good job with this. I love the different aspects of the filmmaking and the technicality that went into this with the drone shots, I believe, with the overhead following her in the river, and then the uh, point of view shot with the GoPro, I believe, and then the, you know, the 360, 180 all around. Uh, it's really different. Um, simple, straight story. 
her sister is sleeping with her husband. Um, it's that's it. And then this creature, this Jenny, uh, just drowned you for some reason. Uh, is it because of the trauma? Is it because of s certain aspects of thoughts or, you know, events taking place in your life? I want to know the backstory of Jenny. Maybe we get a just a short horror film about Jenny, how she became who she was, how did she come into the river, and how is she killing all these people? Of course, you saw the different bodies that were in the water, maybe three, two men, and the one woman, and now there's four with the two men, the one woman, and now Sarah. Uh, very fun, very different, and boy, I tell you, Super Freak Media knows how to work their audio and the jump scares. I mean, the opening sequence where we see the river uh, through that uh, sunrise or sunset, I believe, is just absolutely crazy, and it's not even 30 seconds in, and we got a little scared. The phone ringing, another one, and then it's absolutely crazy the aspect of the editing in that one scene where she's getting ready to go into the river and boat down it uh edgar wright vibes right there with the editing and the quick cuts it's really good i always love that kind of editing which is why i love edgar wright as a filmmaker and i see liam banks who wrote and directed this is really really a fan of his as well i could be mistaken i don't know let me know in the comment section below and also the ending the homage to the first Friday the 13th movie from 1980 where Jason the young boy comes out and grabs the last soul survivor in the movie takes her under and then that's what we have here same shot little slow motion in boom comes out grabs her takes her down loved it absolutely loved it if you take inspiration from any kind of horror movie that's one and you know it's really fun to see the aspect of their filmmaking prowess at super freak media love what they do i've been a fan of theirs since i started watching their short horror films and reacting to them and this is my top favorite up there for sure with the bunch of other films that they make i'm hoping they do more short horror films maybe during the years to come not just hold it off until the halloween season or every october maybe every six months or twice a year maybe you know just a little different genre it'll be fun to see if they can do that I'll leave a link in the description box below to the short horror film The River from Super Freak Media. You can check it out. I'll also leave a link to their YouTube page. Be sure you subscribe to them and check out their short horror films along with other videos that they have on their YouTube channel. And also let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this short horror film The River from Super Freak Media. What did you think about the filmmaking aspect? What did you think about the story? Do you need more explanation about what was happening, what was going on? And what didn't you like about this short horror film? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked, and I'll see you all in the next reaction video, and thank you for tuning in.